humans and bots, this is the most impressive AI tech I have ever ever seen. That's coming from me. You know, I've done this channel a while now. We say that like this has been going on forever, but you know, this channel's just over two years old. And yet, this is the most impressive thing I've ever seen. This is a free to use site called WebSim that simulates the internet. You can make websites just by talking to an LLM like ChatGPT. But before we explore and play around with it, I have to show you what I made because I made a fully playable 3D video game just by texting a bot. To be clear, this wasn't that easy. I mean, it was, it was easy. I, I don't know how to phrase this. It's magic. This is Spy Kids stuff. I press a button on a microwave and a burger just comes out. That's sort of what this is. That being said, what I'm about to show you took all night. This is a 12 hour plus project. You can play this as well. So here's my final product. It's called Deep Dive. Playable in your browser, imagined by Green Skull, created by AI. If you look around here, you'll see some bubbles. You know, we're diving. There's a cool, there's some mystery. You know what's going on there? Start. Arrow keys and WASD. Look around and move. Space to go up, C to go down. You'll notice we're 800 meters below sea level. 86% oxygen. Your oxygen goes out if I press shift. You can speed, you swim faster, which doubles your oxygen consumption. Don't worry though, this shipwreck we have here, which it didn't used to look like a shipwreck. It, 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 no, it kind of does though. I think it's enough. You, know, you got a mast here. You got debris. There are some bubbles here. If you go to this geyser, Whoop, don't worry, we're back up to 100, just suck it up. It's leaking oxygen. It hasn't been here long, obviously. But you swim around this environment. This is a, it's, a, it's in my browser, just by telling it what I wanted to do. There's some hidden things. Look, we got a glowing hatch. It kind of looks like, I, I called it a hatch. I asked for a hatch. It kind of looks like a landmine, doesn't it? Boom. I'm not going to show you everything because there are some secrets. There's debris everywhere. There are, let's see, some cool stuff to show you. I'm trying to find a fish. There are some fish swim. Oh, oh, there's some, there's some specks you can find. That's very exciting. Where are all the fish? It's so foggy. I'm so, I'm so deep and scaled. I got to show you guys a fish before we call it. There we go. Fish. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's so stupid. Oh, there's one up there too. Look at this little stupid thing. I asked for a fish and it was originally a, a cone. I will show you that cone after in a minute. And I was like, make it more fish-like. And it became that thing. And I'm like, that's perfect. You know what? That's a beautiful fish. It's at the bottom of the ocean. Everything down there looks ugly, man. I fit right in. So here's what's really cool. I hope I don't run into one of the secrets. I'll say there are two. Oh, ooh, I see. you know what? I'll show you that one. What's that? Oh, something there. Okay. You guys got to go play it yourself and check it out. Because there's some things. But look, multiple Levine class life forms detected. Turn back now. But if you don't. And then I keep going. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Play again. You can do it all over again. Tell me that's not incredible. And I want to be very clear. I just talked to an AI. I was like, do this, do this, do this. I didn't do any real coding. I had to solve some coding issues. I tried to do a hyperlink, but because this game simulates, you know, this site, this tool simulates a browser, like a, a Mac browser, hyperlinks stay internal. So when I tried to link to my YouTube, youtube.com slash at Greenskull AI, and you click it, you'll see that it actually takes us to a fake website. Everything here is fake. It's a fake internet, which is so funny because the whole dead internet theory is so real here because this is all fake. And it's so fascinating and I could be here forever. It just really opens up a lot of questions. Like we could just sit here discussing what all this means. Uh, is it loading? Is it having troubles? Oh, there we go, look. Oh, it actually generates it every time. So look, it made a YouTube channel page for me. Green Skull AI, 10.2 thousand subs. <laughs> That's actually a fair amount. I don't want to, I don't want to downplay that. Look, I'm not being that guy. <laughs> Just to be clear, we're having fun because I have more than that, you know? Genuinely, if you have 10k subs or more, you're good on you. That's a, I remember when that happened. I remember that day on my original channel. But look, it has all the stuff. Unfortunately, these don't go anywhere. So here's how simple it was and how mind blowing it was. All I typed was a playable 3D FPS game where you control a scuba diver in first person perspective. The game is 3D with rudimentary 3D shapes, make them the environment, it's a shipwreck, keys to move, the environment's dark and foggy, rocks and seaweed. That is the first prompt. And it made this literal, oh, it made this literal game. Look, like 
I can't swim up and down. It's inverted. What am I, a fighter pilot? What am I, a witch? And you know, we just have this abyss here. It's just this little square. But this little square set it all into motion. I was like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. That was just created like that in a heartbeat. And so I iterated. And what you can do is by going up here, this is the context. We're using Sonnet right now. It's the best at this, at, at creating code. You can also speak to ChatGPT and the like, but Sonnet, what I recommend. You can use the existing thing here as context and type something new in plain English, right? Like add a blank. I'll show you some versions here just to give you an idea of how this progressed. We actually jumped quite a bit here, to be honest. One of the big things I identified was I don't want to see that square, right? I want to be able to see the edges of the environment. And so A, I made it foggy, but it, was, it wasn't enough. Since the environment was still black, you could still see that it all kind of took place on a square. And so I solved that by saying, hey, make the environment color the exact same as the fog color, making it appear like a consistent environment. And I use that as an example that you still need to be creative, right? You still need to guide this stuff. It's still gonna spit out something. And again, this is so, I can't, tell you how impressive this is. It's like something from my dreams. Like I've always wanted AI to come to this, but you still need to guide it. You still need to understand what the problems are. You still need to understand what makes a fun game and how to overcome challenges. I made a start screen. I didn't even really ask it for this. I kind of just said, show me uh, the map in the background to give it a start screen. And yeah, you can see if you look closely, I still think it's so cool. It does exactly what I wanted from a start screen. So I just got that right at the like, woo, it's waving around, showing me what's in the environment. It's a perfect example of a, of a problem I ran into. I noticed when I started the game and I looked up and down, look, weird angle. And I'm like, what? And I tried explaining it. I was like, hey, weird axis. When I look up and down, it should just be on a flat plane. And it, it never fixed. And I realized it's because that start screen background is going like this, when I start the game, it resumes that understanding of the camera. And so I solved that by literally just saying, when I press start, reset the camera. And I thought that was pretty cool because it was like, again, you, it's proof that you just need to understand it for yourself. As I went along, there were a lot of iterations I made here, I experimented and I kept changing the shipwreck to make it look better. It's such a cool little thing. And as you can tell, you can go back through all of your work to find stuff. Doubly easy if you save bookmarks along the way, whenever something works and is cool. Oh yeah, here, look, make the fish more fish shaped, I said. Because before that, I said add random fish around the environment and the random fish it added were, well, they left something to be, to be desired here. Look at that thing. What is that? That ain't a fish. I almost left that. I was almost like, yeah, people will get it. That's like an animal, right? I'm glad I told them to be more fish-like. That just looks like a, a wizard. <laughs> As your game or app or site or whatever here gets more complex, you'll have to do exclamation point continue a lot because what it's doing is, you know, there's only a certain amount of tokens that an LLM can use and it kind of cuts it off and so it doesn't finish what it wants to do. So you'll often need to keep pressing exclamation point continue until it finishes its job. So it just like won't work for a bit. As my game got really complex, you had to feed it just little things at a time. Doing two things at once never seemed to work. I used to have to just do continue once, and then I had to continue twice for every change I made. So that's honestly what ate a lot of time in making this. But I'm happy where it is. I had to stop because I could be at this forever. But go give this a like and a bookmark and we can like bump it up the charts on the site. Kind of fun. My buddy David made his own thing. So let's see. I haven't actually looked at these. This is the first iteration of what he created. Ray tracing scene. You just like look at stuff. I don't think you can do anything. You're just watching like they, he made duck sphere. That's the coolest thing ever. And like the weird reflection situation happening here. I mean, it's not ray tracing, you know what I mean? But like and this is all done in like HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Like it's so impressive. Two hours later, this showed up. Oh, you can use your mouse to control this. That's kind of fun. Wow. Look, he's got a R to toggle debug info. That's a good idea. Oh, that's smart. Look at this. What's this? Am I chasing? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to chase lemmings captured? What the heck? Oh, you're like fighting against. This is amazing, David. What? Lemmings captured? Oh, you can't restart though. Unplayable. Is that a lemming? Are these considered lemmings? Do I get the sphere? Hey, did I get it or duck sphere? Get it. Duck sphere so fast. What is it? You just got to beat duck sphere and the lemmings. Am I? Do I bring him here? No, I just duck sphere. He's too good. I'm not good at this game. Duck Sphere's a legend. That's crazy. I asked the Discord to make some stuff, so let's see what they did. Cheezel the cheesy search engine. Search for something. Oh, how, look, how weird are these search results of mine? Exposed. Sci-fi room tone. Woman screaming. What do I search for? Okay. Wow. 
or just l- green cheese myths. I want to learn more. We're learning about cheese on this site. That's crazy. That's so cool. Globo conspiracy research findings. Oh, look, that's kind of fun. You can see what all the redacted statements are. That's amazing. The Globo conspiracy squish and stretch doll. Glubonium. This is funny. Mind control techniques. The screen gull AI conspiracy. What the? This is wild. This is so cool. Dog dad. Oh, it's just dog jokes? With dog pictures. That's fantastic. Glubgul. Ask me anything. Why? Why, Glubgul? What are we going to learn? Tell me things. Why? Just why? Why? The fundamental question. Okay. Yeah. That's a thing. The site has a lot of stuff and ranks them based on top saves and viewership and stuff. That's why you guys got to go click my link and <laughs> bump it up. Gloggle, the multiverse search. Look, there's like, yeah, Crazy Cars 3D. Someone made a little 3D game. There's a piano. Like, look at that. You can, holy moly, look at this. Wow, that thing was fat. You're, that's so cool. Let there be a blue sky. This person's playing God. A Doom emulator? This is Doom. Like, look, there, there's a Doom. We're playing Doom. Look, that's, we're playing Doom. That's, <laughs> obviously they didn't code Doom, right? But they emulated it. How did they even do this? Whoa. Okay, they did some crazy stuff here. It's cool they did that. I'm more excited about plain text creating things. Like sculpting? This stuff is amazing. N64 emulator? Web sim desktop? A Minecraft classic inspired... Wait, somebody, did somebody make... That's crazy. Look at this. That's wild. Ain't no way. Yo! I was wondering if you could do procedural and looks like you can. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, okay. Wow, it looks like they use plain text. I'm spitting everywhere. I'm so excited. Okay, you know what? I don't feel as good about my cool little ga- my stupid, stupid game. We're going to do a live. Let's create something simple. Um, I don't know. It's, I'm trying to think here. Uh, ooh, what do we do? A 2D playable game similar to Super Mario Bros. Maybe we'll be that simple and see what happens and then make a tweak just to show you how it works. Fun fact as well. If you hover over this blue here, you can see what it's doing. Oh my, look at this. Arrow keys and move to jump. Woo! (laughs) That... Why don't we go with that? When I jump, I want the map to continue vertically until I reach space. The AI has inspired me. This was an AI idea. Oh my. This... We're already... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. This this may be something. Oh, hey, whoa. Significantly more playable already. Well, you can't even do it. Like, you can't move and jump, you know? But, like, what happens if I fall? Nothing. But, hey, like, that's, you know, that's already so impressive. Yeah, this is the most impressive thing. I, I'm so mind blown by this, and I'm curious what you guys make. So, you can't share very easily on wherever you're watching this. If you want to share something with me, you made something cool, drop it in the Discord. I will make a new channel for this. I think it's worth it because I want to see what everybody can do with this because again, this is so impressive. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. See you next time.